to worship beautiful waves. What a joy. And even more fun to manipulate <laughs> manipulate <laughs> and play with them. Cool new ways. Yes, we have a probability slider. Those of you that are into random music generators know what that is. For those of you that don't, it allows Unify to create song melodies, motifs, all this melodic fun stuff randomly from using a slider because it's lowering the percentage of how many notes it's letting through MIDI box. Like if I turn this all off, so it's just able to freely play whatever it wants. That's what it's doing. Okay, now trigger box has the ability, and look at, as this changes, it changes the percentage of probability so that at 0%, if I was to go to both of these guys and show the details, now it doesn't let any notes through. And then as you bring this up, It was playing random melodies with all sorts of note timing stuff changing. And that is thanks to Triggerbox. It is set to, instead of being a time based, it's set to a sync to clock based of eighth notes. I set it to simple note times and the minimum timing value you can go to is eighth notes. So I can't play any 16th notes, just eighth notes. You can set it whatever timing value. So that way it just quantizes in a certain limited window. And by turning this on, here we go. off right now, but I'm going to turn it on. Now every note is given a random timing when it gets to play in an eighth note window plus or minus. And then probability brings down how many of those notes it lets through. So there's two levels of randomizing going on. Isn't that cool? So I thought you guys would like that. So this is Mega Magic Pads. This is a library that's seven years old <laughs> and it's reborn. Totally new again with new incredible capabilities thanks to Unify. So I'm gonna show you a couple others that are really, really fun. Here is a similar take on the random note probability, but with kind of a vibe that you might be familiar with. Again, probability. Uh, one more and then we'll get more into this stuff. Here's Perky Water. This is another fun one with a... Again, probability.
And with this, you could easily go over here to Unify, say set this to Unify layer and go to any of the pads in the library and add them as a new layer. So one of the new bonus, there's seven bonus sample sets. Let's add um, Signs of Life. And anytime I want, set automation my sequencer. Trigger box has been around since December. But I've had this in the back of my mind saved for this library for a long time. So I wanted something special. This is one of my favorite libraries. It's the best selling library I have created for any plugin so far that I sell at my website. But this one, because it's pads, a, a number of the pad sounds are been like staples and standards for some people in their dance tracks for a long time. But it's really, really, really fun. So Mega Magic Pads for Unify. You don't need anything else but this $79 plugin that we make called Unify. There's 28 pads in the original library that was released in 2015. Um, it came out for Serum. It came out for Reason. It came out for Contact as well as Omnisphere. This version I think is the most fun because you have these wonderful strings and pads and everything. And then with Unify, we have all of this support stuff built around it with effects, reverb, pitch shifting octave delays. So you can take something like this, filter it a little bit. Beautiful filters, bring up goosebumps. And then on top of Goosebumps, let's go to page two and add Distortion. And let's sweep the filter. <laughs> and you notice the Goosebumps, it's getting goosed by the Distortion because the Distortion is over here on Auxiliary 2. Distortion is earlier. so. Now, let's bring down Goosebumps. Thank you very much, Goosebumps. Other things that are available here to play with. So the distortion, which is great to add just a little bit. This is the wet-dry mix and the drive. Got pump, pump house is here. And if you want, you can open this up, change the shape of pump house to all sorts of cool stuff. And then on page three is the LFO. For filter, amp, or pitch. <laughs> and let's see, let's bring down distortion. And then on top of that, here is your master EQ. So you can more warm and round or thin. All of this to every one of these pads and synth sounds that you see in this list for the first part, because the way it works is there's 41 different pads. I'm going to put a link in the video description to the playthrough that shows and explains the building of the library when I did it in 2015. 
I'm gonna quickly go through these. I'm not gonna play them for a long time because there's so many. There's 133 patches right now. Let me show you the whole library. Now the bees at the beginning are the bonus new samples. If you open up Guru Sampler, these have 21 samples. And if you go to any of these that are part of the original library, this has six samples because that's all I could do back at the time for Omnisphere because I wanted a couple extra spaces of eight patches for additional uh, sounds beyond. So everything in the library was originally created with six samples across the keyboard. The new ones, I'm able, because of Unify, it can play as many, I could play every note could be a new sample if I wanted it to. I can't do that with Omnisphere. The other thing that is just wonderful with this is that I can take this whole map. I can move the sample start for all the samples and the attack and the release and in Omnisphere, you'd have to edit six patches one at a time, changing all the parameters for each of the six patches. Whereas inside Unify, it's, it's, Unified. It's all in one. If I bring up the release, it brings it up for all samples. So it's not separate patches. Okay. So really, really quickly, every patch has the pad version. And then it has the synth version. In some cases like this, I have two. Then I have another more snappy. So every pad I turned into a synth patch as well. So remember that when we go through this, I'm gonna quickly go through the pads and then the synth. So you can hear that. And then I'll show you the bonus stuff at the end. And the bonus stuff is where it gets really, really exciting because that's where Unify is able to take these samples into all sorts of new territory like I showed you at the beginning. So here we go. Uh, lovely retro strings. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Retro crescendo has a nice. And you hear there's, it's called Mega Magic because there's reverb in all the samples to make the sounds even more lush and give it even more this really cool space. You hear that in these. As it comes down, you just hear this like sheen that slowly fades out. Really nice. Uh, Signs of Life is FM based. And there's two, there's this really dark version. And then there's one where there's a little bit more of the modulation from some carriers. So it has just a little bit more harmonic content. I, I love, I'm a sucker for Elka strings and I really wanted a... String type of sound. So this is a really cool composite, a whole bunch of strings together. And then a wet version, which is really nice. Just even more majestic sounding. Then here we go with the originals. Mm. Still warms my heart to play these. You hear a little bit more clarity and definition in the dry version of this wet. I've heard that in so many tracks. It's awesome. And again, the mod wheel. Uh, Battleborn has been on so many techno tracks, it's not even funny.
just has that sound. And if you bring it to sample start, you bring it to be a short attack and a short release, it's just a great that you hear in all sorts of tracks as well. Bright Zebra. Cape Siren Colin has, back when this was done, Enigma was a big deal still. So this has some of that Enigma tingle tingle. And then deserted, the tingle has deserted us, it's left. Just a beautiful pad, no tingle, <laughs> delicate dancer. Uh, now, some of these, as you can see, I have a fast and a slow version. So the F stands for fast. And because of that unique attack in the sample, it allows the slow versions to have this really cool frequency fading out effect. Right? Because that snap, it slowly fade out in the reverb and we're skipping the snappy part just to make it a nice slow pad. And if you want to skip even more of it, you just move the sample start later. And that's just a steady, these are all wonderfully looped. They'll just sit there forever. Um, Interstellar came out the year before, so I had to use that for a name. All this cool moving stuff in there. Then wet, you hear less of the moving stuff. Pastel warmth for sad days. Pen in the clouds, I love, love, love this. Power Vox. Uh, powerful inspiration. Again, these work great, even with like factory patches. Go to add a unified layer, go down here to keys, add like the intimate piano to this. It's beautiful. Let me show you real quick. So down here to keys, uh, piano intimate, just add that. I mean, it's just mm, perfecto. You know, so I could play this literally for days. So just follow those steps. Start with powerful inspiration, move the mod wheel up almost to the top, not quite to the top. And then change this to unify layer, go find a piano or load, go over here and say new empty layer, instrument layer, and pick out your favorite piano from wherever you might have that and add it and you'll be just gone for hours. I promise you. It's just a beautiful experience. 
All right, let's get back here. Interstellar, all this stuff. We were here to powerful inspiration. Here's Purity Committee. That's a cool, like, rawr, 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 kind of a vibe to it. Sleeping Skeletons. Now, Spiteful Spirit and String of Tornus are slow and fast, wet and dry, so we'll just go through these here fast. Again, another one of those nice attack, right? Well, that makes the slow really interesting. And then the wet version. Just more, yeah, that snappy part's not quite so present. Uh, the slow version of wet. Uh, string Eternus. Right, and then slow. This is another one you can filter a little bit. I have lots of pad libraries I've bought from all sorts of different people. It takes a lot of work to make a pad that you just play, and it plays with you. And it's a concept a lot of people that make pads don't know. They haven't learned that yet. Because I'm an old fart, and I've been at this for 30 years, I've learned. <laughs> uh, let's see. String Eternus, the wet version. Uh, here's uh, Terminate. Fast. A cool attack, right? Thanks for really cool. It's got this energy at the beginning that slowly fades out. Uh, then Simplex is simpler. All in one sample to have all that really cool filter sweeping and all that stuff. These are just the samples in this case. And there's no programming going on in any of the core part of the library, really, for the most part. It's just playing the sound. These are the samples. Three graces. Then there's whiskey breath sober. A little bit more pure and clean. And then Tipsy has more like water trickling, you know. I'm a little tipsy. I think I had a few too many to drink. At least that was the thought when I was making it. And the world's divided is a big three octave. You know, when you need that, this is it. Right? And then here's the synth versions of them. So I showed you those. Signs of life. Because for synth, this is more keyboard. You'd play it like a keyboard. But the, the rule is for pads, slow attack, long release. For synth, it's a short attack, short release. So you get variations. A square tropolis. It's nice. 
Z string. And then the wet version. So nice. Uh, I'll just play through these really quick. Here is deserted. A delicate dancer. And this is one where I'm using a breathy attack from Unify's sample memory. There's this whole folder with all of these cool attacks. You can play with these. Different attack components that just All sorts of cool characteristics. Uh, guitar tronic. This goes down and then up. It's kind of fun. It's got nice, cool delay. Interstellar. Nice and snappy from the pitchy G. Layer these with a real string orchestra and it's like, oh my goodness. There's another one where layer two is an attack. Open this up, go through all the different attack samples on layer two and get all sorts of cool different things. Power Vox. Powerful inspiration. All that kind of stuff. Purity Committee. Uh, sleeping Skeletons. Spirit. Uh, wet. Got resonant filters and stuff. I got carried away on that one. <laughs> Turns wet. Uh, I love that attack. It's so nice. Uh, so here's simplex. Okay, three graces. Uh, whiskey breath sober. Just simple. 
then tipsy. If you have some distortion on it. And if you want to make less distortion, just go to page two. So it's cool to get a little character and then worlds divided. Right? Okay. Now we get to the fun stuff. This is the bonus content. This one just goes crazy. These are chords, one note. Probability. And then there's other parameters to play with. Um, early birdie. Right, so, stuff like that. Uh, one note randoms. all day. <laughs> uh, here's without bass. Just the melody. And then you can open this up. You could use any of your own plugins for the plugins right here. It's still going to get this random stuff going on. We bring it all the way up. It's just crazy insanity. You can even open up MIDI box, just go through and plus plus plus, call up different MIDI box patterns, tune it so that you got it so it's still in tune and stuff like that. And who knows what you can get. It's so easy to customize. It's really, really fun. So experiment. That's, that's what all these bonus patches are about. It's experimenting, um, seeing where you can take things, right? So here's chilling in the moonlight. Pulse, turn it down. Uh, the ticking is a bomb. Oh no. What did we get ourselves into? We got a slow pad up high. And one of the layers doesn't have pitch bin and one does octaves. And the mod wheel does filter. And if you don't want the clock, turn it down. So it's pretty crazy. Love it, love it. Uh, dreaming about Twinkies. And again, the ARP right here, percentage. Like about 
out right here. A little busy, little gaps. All right, so never alone. This shows two different ways of selecting layers. It's a three layer rhythmic patch. And this first way is called select. So if you use the layers mixer, I can choose just one layer and it won't let me hear it until I play new notes. See, I'm changing. I still don't hear it until I play new notes. And if I bring this all the way to the bottom, it's all three. I still don't hear it until I play new notes. Now I hear them all, okay? Now, Never Alone Solo is using a technique I haven't used before, but we can do it. So I wanted to show you uh, in a patch. And this is where we've got three layers in solo mode. Doing the same thing as before, but now this is called Solo Select. And if I move this, it immediately kills the others. Right? So you have both ways to work with how to select layers. That's all found if you open this up. If you click right here on the little bullet, you can replace, just to show you real quickly, there's solo right here as an assignment and also MIDI enable right here as an assignment. So both of those are available. Orbit, I love this. Just takes off and then kind of slowly fades out. More probability, makes it a busier little sequence. Right? Pulse, there's four variations of pulse. And I should point out, this is inside a Guru sampler using the LFO. And you can click right here and change the curve. To whatever you want. And if you bring down the depth, gets to be a little bit smoother and then you work with the filter cutoff. To find what works for you. That's the case with all four variations, but this is a little bit different because it's got two steps. So it's playing at half the speed of the earlier one, but there's two steps. So now you can do that kind of stuff, right? Pulse three and four. And they all have the pulse rate right here. Rise means it takes away the pulse. If you want to do glitchy things, you can do that. Pulsing entropy. Uh, random cave art. This is really spacey and kind of out there. And just let's play a big chord. Yeah, it could be really busy. And if you want, you can go here to the link parameters. Bring it down even lower, like 1% instead of 17%. 
and set this to unify layer. Let's go find a nice pad, maybe like pastoral warmth. Let's add that. Might need a little bit more than 2%. Bring it down when you want to go away. I mean, I, I could play this for way, way, way long time. <laughs> so let's go over here back to making magic pads to random cave art. So we gotta go down here, set this back to normal. <laughs> Uh, these are Rhythm Lifes. This is a really cool standard. There's a lot of this going on in the music production today for this. Let's slow it down. It doesn't need to be this fast. Uh, so let's say maybe like 90 beats per minute. And again, you can open up Guru Sampler. This is a more complex envelope. modify these to your own shape very easily. What's really fun, go to presets, go to the numbered presets. Uh, this is eight, so go eight steps down. And now you can play the curvature of the different ones. Bring some down and because it's made the points, it's still in sync because I can't, I can't go earlier than this point. And then you can look over here at the depth. It's at 100%. Bring it down a little bit. So now I have a nice mix of the two. Really easy to modify. So there's all these different ones. Rhythm. Here's life round. Using filter sweeps. Just sits so nice. Sting. That's using a fun setting with the bypass filter to do a little <laughs> and thin. And then here's American Beauty as a split. So you can play one note. I showed this earlier. Fun to play with probability. We'll open up some cool doors to play with. Racing razors. Left hand has this cool octave thing in it and up high. A uh, big time bouncer is actually really simple. It's one layer. And probability is at max. And if you want to open Guru Sampler, go through any of the samples. That's fun ways to play these. <laughs> uh, chromium dreaming. See, 
all sorts of cool motion, things repeating on cycles. Goes back to the top. Fun stuff. Uh, living water is really pretty. And you can go between all of the layers. I think there's eight layers. Just to show you how you could use this in a live context. And at any time you can go up here and turn them on. I could play for way too long with these. This is a simpler version of the previous, but with probability. Racing over rainbows. This one's supposed to be fast. So if we go over here to this tempo and it's set at 90 beats per minute, let's make it be like 120 something. I have my iPad as a second monitor right now. Running on Snapple. <laughs> Again, simple layer, so it's easy for you to edit this Guru Sampler or replace it with something else. The MIDI timing triggering probability stuff would happen and play with whatever plugin you put into this space. So that's what it's for. Wah, wah, wah. And it's tempo rate. And if you go over here and turn on this, it's a muted, turn it on, it's a groove. Uh, these are chords. One note. It's a beautiful morning. This takes all of these layers. <laughs> That's just a sub bass. And then here's a fast version. Great London. And if you go to uh, layer four and you make it 16 in, is it what? 16 instead of 15. Minor. Major. Right? Uh, happy sevenths for pianos.
Positive Impact Major 9. If you're familiar with others, so many artists use these big like chords like this. Well, now you can do that too really easily. Just replace these six layers with whatever synth plugins you want and you can make chords with whatever synth patch you want. It's pretty fun. Here's some swells. This has no huge bass, according to my comments. But this one does. All right, couple keys. These are really pretty. This is FM with pads. Then that soft, intimate piano. Fun. Ascend. Just a little bit of goosebumps from Luxury 2. Bring it up. Uh, billionaire. That kind of thing. I love this one. Karina Nebula. Nice filter sweep down. Cool motion in there. Oh, love it. Hello. Uh, this is from the cars from Gary Newman. That's, that's what it's for. Uh, this is Dark Scent Strings. That sounds solid metal pad. Single layer. So again, you can take this, open up Goose Sampler, choose any of these. A nice dark pad. Right? If it's too loud, you can bring down the gain here, you can have the gain here or here if it's hitting too hard on the red for some of the sounds that when they get filtered, they get kind of big. Uh, vanishing Act. I love this. This is another cool one. Cool bell sting that fades out to a pad. Uh, VHS strings. This has chow tape. Check this out. Turn it off. <laughs> Instant old VHS tape vibe. Right? Okay. Plucks. These are really pretty. And again, second layer is the attack. So play tuning, decay. And then there's all of these attacks. Putting cool character samples as attacks 
Uh, it's really fun. Poolside drinks. Uh, snappy citizens. Fun stuff like that. Cyborg love. This is a split, kind of a special one. Um, we unfortunately recently lost Vangelis. And so this was kind of a tribute patch. For that kind of vibe, pitch bin. A uh, couple cents, and then we're done. All right, gotta have a big wall. Uh, cop chaser. Uh, fat hammer has a cool tag. And then finally, Saw Love Bites. So, that's the library. Lots of pads and scents. I try to make stuff that's like totally usable in easy, clear ways. So dive in. Again, all of these, the Guru Sampler can be replaced with whatever plugins you own or open up Guru Sampler and choose to any of the samples in the setting. And these are all really cool pads that give you the chance to personalize, find your own production taste and style and go for it. Okay? So... Thank you for your support. If you buy the library, if you buy Unify, I appreciate greatly. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay.